What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about Sargeable Queries. If you're like I once was, you might be thinking, huh, what's a Sargeable Query? More importantly, why do I care? To answer the first question, Sargeable just means search argumentable. So it's a concatenation of words. It basically means that your query is able to use an index uh, to be able to return results quickly. Just because you add an index to a table doesn't mean your queries are gonna use it. The reason why that's important is so that our queries run quick and efficiently and there's no extra work that SQL Server needs to be doing behind the scenes to return our results. Maybe the best way to get an understanding of what Sargeable queries look like are just to look at some examples. I have this query here, which is basically filtering my table of data based on a create date. Uh, my create date is indexed and it's a date time to field. In this example query though, you'll notice in my where clause, my predicate is actually converting that create date column to a char 10 date string in order to be able to compare it to my inputted string of August 19th. This is a prime example of a query that is non-sargeable. The reason it's non-sargeable is that SQL Server has to convert the column side of our operator. Um, basically not, a, not allowing SQL Server to use the data that's already in that index. Instead of just being able to compare our August 19th, 2017 string to the values in our index, it's having to convert every single value in our index first to a 10 character date string. Now that's a problem for performance because instead of being able to just seek to the correct dates in our index pages, SQL Server is having to read all 53 rows of data in our index uh, to be able to return the correct results. If we instead wrote this query as just leaving the column side of the operator as create date, don't touch it, don't do anything else, and instead convert our inputted August 19th text string to a date time, then the query will run much better and it'll be sargeable. And we could even let SQL Server just implicitly convert that um, right side scalar part of our predicate to a date time too. And that's still sargeable. And the reason it's sargeable is because now SQL Server can just utilize the index as it is. It doesn't have to manipulate or transform the data in that index in order to find our results. You'll notice in the execution plan, in this case, that SQL Server only had to seek directly to those three res result rows that we want instead of having to read through every single page by using a scan. So the key takeaway here is you make your query sargeable by not altering the column side of our where uh, predicate or our join on clause uh, so that SQL Server can just utilize the indexes on that column without having to do any extra work. And I have a lot more examples of what sargeable versus non-sargeable queries look like linked to my blog, which you can click above or down in the description to get a better sense of what sargeable and non-sargeable queries look like. Now that we know what these queries look like, you might be wondering, all right, how many of these non-sargeable queries are currently running on my server, right? It's a really easy way to improve server performance by just cleaning up those queries and making them run more efficiently. So I wrote this script, which you can also find in the blog post, um, that'll basically search all of your cached query plans on your server and find any that are running non-sargeable queries. It does that by searching the execution plans for either table scans or index scans um, that have a scalar operator string applied to them, so some kind of convert or date diff function or anything like that. Um, running that query will just basically return any non-sargeable queries, so you can decide to either you know, fix them and make them sargeable, or in the case where there are table scans, you're probably missing an index, so you know to add an index to them. So go download that script and see what non-sargeable queries are running on your server. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.